Oh, I'm excited to start recording. I'm excited to start now. What gives you value in this world? I've been trying to understand that for the longest and I finally came to the conclusion that the only person that can give you value is yourself. And if I'm so scared to put my voice out there, then the only way for me to move forward is to jump into that water and just try. Because that's all anybody should ever do. So hi, my name is Zayden Nelzi. I'm a 21 year old artist and I'm here to make waves. Nice to meet you. Recently, after working tirelessly in retail, I've been getting to a point where I felt like my art didn't matter. Who would even want to listen to a kid like me vent about issues that they might not be able to relate to? But that was my own inner demons keeping me from being the best that I can be. And the only path left for me is forward. So I will never stop on my journey to cultivate the self. But I digress. What I wanted to talk about today was the concept of giving yourself credit for trying. I've been feeling like in a society that fundamentally pushed the notion that art is a waste of time, giving yourself credit for trying was just a godsend that'll help motivate me when I was at my worst. Growing up, I was told I should become an engineer, an architect, anything other than an artist because that was considered to be a foolish idea that was crazy for even bringing up. So for a while, I went with that idea. I repressed my desires and went with the idea that art really wasn't viable. And I was just some kid with a pipe dream. However, I never satiated that want. That feeling that constantly filled my heart that made me want to create. So despite the warnings I was given, I decided to start pursuing illustration. And I've honestly never been happier in my whole life. But I understand that the human heart is fickle. And some things happen beyond our controls that damper that motivation. Sometimes it's hard to stay motivated when you have no one around you telling you that you can do it. So you haven't heard these words before, then let me be the first to say them to you. I believe in you. You've come this far by defying the expectation of everybody around you, and that deserves praise. Make an artist's art. It's a journey that'll take you as far as you're willing to take it. So going it alone is just an arduous path that is tedious to say the least. So my goal in doing these videos is to accompany you on that voyage. Right now, I think the world's on fire. With so much going on today, it might be hard for you to make art when you're trying, just trying to get by. You might be feeling a little depressed that your art isn't getting as much exposure as you like. You might even wake up some days and just feel like you're worthless. I don't know who could be listening to this right now, but know this. You and your art have a place in this world. Everything that you are, everything that you could be, is a culmination of the experience you've had thus far. So I'll remember to give yourself credit for trying you oh so unique human experience. Another thing that was tripping me up recently, or I feel like trips up a lot of beginner and intermediate artists like myself, we get into the habit of comparing ourselves with artists that we admire. You're exposed to so much media today that you start cultivating a library of things that you aspire to do, but you don't necessarily have the muscle memory or skill to produce. And that leads you into a rut where you're just not okay with micro progression and you give up thinking that, oh, I'm just not talented or built for this. When in reality, it's something that you got to find for yourself. Some people might like to think something along the line, if I just become as good as Anthony Jones or Ahmed Eldori, maybe I'll be happy with my art. However, that happiness will never come to pass. The harsh truth about it is that no matter how you try to emulate your heroes, you'll never draw exactly like them. This realization may crush a few of your ambitions, but I think you should stay strong. Even though you'll never go through the same experience that shaped them, that's okay, because the inverse is also true. Those artists don't <laughs> those artists that you deify will never go through the same experience you've endured, and I think that's your unique advantage. The world is filled with such lovely art, but those art pieces are only unique because those people did the one thing that you're currently not doing. Trying. Trying and failing more than anybody else, but being obstinate enough to believe in the person that you could be. And if you never thought that you could make it to that foothold or that platform one day, I'm here to tell you that you can. 
The only limit on you is you. Nobody else's art should be the apex of what you can make. And even if you made art on the level of Craig Mullins one day, who's to say that man is your limit? That's a factor only you get to decide, so never get that misconstrued. Comparing yourself to other artists is a great way to gauge what you need to refine in your art. However, to me, never get into the mindset that those artists are, again, your apex, because I feel like that'll damper on what you could possibly create, and there should never be limits in a field that is supposed to be limitless. Your limit is your own, so never cage yourself. I was pretty apprehensive when writing this out. I'm a pretty scatterbrained person and I sometimes feel like my thoughts don't come across as coherent as I'd like them to be. Because honestly, I was wondering like, who would want to listen to a 21 year old black guy named Zayn Nelsie? Preposterous. But I have value and the act of me trying will make me a better man. And so this is the first step of my journey to be a better version of me. So come along with me. I don't know if you're here by choice or just held hostage or just getting enthralled by my voice. But either way, welcome and let's rock.